Hi, Jane Velez Mitchell for Jane Unchained here at Texas Tech University as our Texas vegan tour continues. And what we have here is. Wait for it. The Animal Rights Coalition at Texas Tech University's reach out table where they speak to uh, students and actually show them is what goes focused? on in a factory farm. It is now. Thanks to All right. um, animal equality. Uh, so in your left, you should see two videos. That, yes. Um, uh, basically points, allow someone okay. to be points, inside uh, the a factory farm. Is um, it on that? I'm gonna and experience it right. from the animal's point of view. And this is play. really, really, really intense for so people. So what do you see? Um, this is okay. a, uh, can... a device that okay. was now donated, you can turn as you can head, see, turn your by head around. You can see when your back. she drops her hand, animal yeah, you equality, can turn back. and you can see um, up and down. Play. You can, we'll find out exactly what impact it has on the students. Uh, but it's very, very it's intense yeah, because the they become uh, the pig trapped in the factory farm and they experience it from the pig's point of view. It's very, very powerful. Um, and so we're here with uh, Renee King's owner of Rowdy Girl Sanctuary. Hey there, how y'all doing? Who is going to be speaking in a little while. We'll be covering that yeah. live. You're going to be speaking to the students at Texas Tech University. Yep. And about that's part of our oh, vegan nice. tour, Rowdy Girl Sanctuary and Jane Unchained, doing a vegan tour of Texas. We are here in Lubbock right now. We're going to be going to Marshall, Texas, and then Austin for the Austin Veg Fest, and then Dallas. So this is... Uh, TTU Week Veg Park, and there's there's a bunch of people um, with different causes here. This is really fascinating. It's sort of like a quad where uh, people get to to talk about what matters to them, and uh, different different um, different causes, different issues. And the issue we're focusing on here at Jane Unchained is animal rights. So um, let's hear what they have to say. Hi. <laughs> serving, continue okay. on. Uh, yeah, so it's like really important for people to see like where their food comes from, especially because like what we're showing the virtual reality is how 95% of the meat in America is made. Yeah, I definitely think there's uh, a lot of people who, are, who do eat meat, and I am one of them, have, have this weird myopia about where it comes from. Like you can see comments on Facebook, it's like, why do you, like talking about how hunters are cruel, it's like, why don't you go to the store where no animals are being cruel, uh, no one's cruel to the animals that we have meat in stores, and it's like, uh that, that's, I, I'm fine with eating meat, but I'm not fine with being completely ignorant of the process. There is a cost being born that you do have to be aware of. Yeah, that is the start. Have you considered being vegetarian or vegan before? Um, I've considered it mostly, so I'll be there once the lab meat becomes, comes online. Um, because the lab meat's clearly preferable. I'm not sold on the nutritional aspects. I'm not sold on animals have, having rights per se. I think once we get into language of rights, then it becomes a big philosophical quagmire. And so I don't go there. It's just humans don't like being mean to animals. Or they, healthy humans don't like being mean to animals. But, uh, and so lab meat would be very much preferable. Um, would you like one of our pamphlets on animal rights, actually? Or? Um, yeah, so I, I've read the philosophical papers. Um, I used to be a philosophy major of sorts. And so, uh, and I went to a liberal arts school with 100 people, 50 of them were vegans, yeah. so, so basically not my first rodeo. Yeah. Uh, rodeo is an odd, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> an odd uh, phrase to use. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same exact thing. <laughs> True vegan right here. <laughs> You've got to calibrate your Texanisms for the audience. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. I like to pick up my so, own terms. So, <laughs> for us, um, like you organize the Animal Rights Coalition here at Texas yeah. Tech University. Tell us what is going on right now. So, right now we have te uh, Texas Tech Veg Week. This is the first uh, Veg Week at... Damn. Go ahead. So, yeah, we have the Texas Tech Veg Week. This is the first Veg Week in West Texas. And we have plenty of uh, events going on. Uh, we have Renee. We are so honored to have Renee here. Uh, and I specifically wanted Renee here because this is Texas. A lot of people are animal science major, meat science major, and things like that. And I wanted a Texan to talk to them. And, you know, because if I talk to them, they say, you're from another culture, but Renee is Texan. And uh, that's so wonderful that we have her here. 
And what is happening behind you? Um... Behind me we have um, eye animals. Uh, these are great uh, tools, 360 degree inside a, a slaughterhouse, but it's all normal and standard practices where 95% of the meat comes from. And uh, it's very sad to watch, but we always encourage uh, students to watch it because it's hard, but we need to watch where our food comes from. And, uh, and that I think puts you are... in with audio and visual as if you're yeah. in what the exact exactly in, inside the slaughterhouse oh, wow. either a pig or a chicken slaughterhouse and you can turn your head around up and down. The meat is what it's showing you. What what is it showing you right now? Right now, um, we look they were zapping some pigs and now they're uh, twitching. I don't really know exactly what part it is. This pig is still twitching. I feel so bad for him. Her. Her. Definitely her. Remind. How, how, do you, how, do, how does all this make you feel? Confused, mostly. Tell me about that. Um, I know a lot of the practices have been um, changed after Upton Sinclair wrote The Jungle. So I'm surprised that this is still allowed. Does it make you think uh, about your food choices? I'm vegetarian. I gave up meat for Lent, so not eating too much pigs right now. Okay, um, and uh, all right, I, I'm uh, here. I, I don't know if I have your approval to, uh, to show your face, so I showed you in a way that you really, really don't see you. If you feel like, to, do you mind talking about it? No, we're I don't live. mind. We're live. Uh, okay. Oh, well, hey, who am I talking to? Yeah. Uh, well, this is Jane Unchained. This yeah. is a um, social media news outlet for animal rights and the vegan lifestyle. So you say you gave up meat for Lent? I did, indeed. Okay. And, um, um, and hold on one second. Um, is it with Masha? Do what? Do you, uh, Masha? No, it's something different. Uh, I was going to say, uh, Masha is a free tea. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we, I just want to explain. We happen to be live right now. Is it okay uh, to, uh, to to talk to you about your? Um... Oh sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're, you are the best dressed uh, man on campus. The Bob uh, Rummel Award goes uh, to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let me ask you. What? What? Thank you so much. What was your reaction? And does it make you think? When you say you give up meat for Lent, Lent is not. <laughs> Lent's not permanent, so... No, it's the 40 days leading up to Easter, and I gave up meat for Lent because, you know, Lent's a time where you have to go, you're supposed to grow closer to God, and I met a lot of people who, like me, they love animals, and they know a lot about farming practices and stuff, but they decided, I'm going to be vegetarian, so I thought, why not I try it for a bit, see how it is, and make my decision after the 40 days. So to wrap it up here does does what you saw the, the imagery you saw does that impact you it does because uh, I was an FFA in high school and we took I took a livestock production class where we learned a lot about how you process the meat and all that and they didn't show me things like that they said things like that doesn't happen anymore like uh, when you slaughter the pig you shock it first so that it doesn't feel anything when you bleed it out but those pigs were still kind of twitching and screaming and stuff so I'm not sure um, about how accurate the information I've been reading and learning about is, and I'm looking, I look forward to learning more about it. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. So You're very welcome. much appreciated. So this is a really, really interesting thing happening here, where um, we've got people who are having conversations, and there's uh, <laughs> there's Renee King's owner of Rowdy Girl Sanctuary uh, also talking to the students. I, I really feel what you're doing here, Afraz, is extraordinary because this is, you know, like the heart of ag country, and you're you're starting conversations that wouldn't otherwise happen. Exactly. We have a lot of uh, students here from uh, uh, animal sciences major and things like that and a lot of people actually have farms around here and it's very nice to actually talk to these students, they come and sometimes they say, hey, you know, this is not the way we treat our animals, we treat them like our family and I say, well, do you send your calves to slaughterhouse when, you know, when your cows give birth? They say yes. I say, well, that's not quite how I treat my family. And they start really thinking about it. And a lot of people have questions that, so what people's like my, people like my father can do? You know, we have already farms and how can we make the transition? And that's what is really wonderful for, for us for having Renee here because she 
she has done this in the past. Yeah, and so, she took her cattle ranch, her husband's cattle ranch, and turned it into a, an animal sanctuary. I just spent several days there. And uh, there's a lot of cows who are living happy lives that would otherwise be slaughtered. And if they had lived, their children would be slaughtered. Exactly. So that's why it's very wonderful to have Renee here. And uh, she can let them have her own point of view in this, how she made the transition. And so that's what's really great about this. Well, it looks yeah. like... Texas is changing and if Texas is changing that means the whole world is changing because this is the heart of cattle country and uh, thanks to Faraz and and other students here um, we're having very important conversations at Texas Tech University about compassion about ethics about the feelings um, and the suffering of other sentient beings and what can be done to alleviate that suffering. Uh, reporting from Texas Tech University, Jane Velez Mitchell for Jane and Jane on Texas Vegan Tour. Stay with us. We're going to go live throughout the coming days across Texas.